Here's the story. I went from food stamps to six figures in one and a half years, and I'm nothing special. I, if I can do this, you can do this too. You ever have a moment that just changes everything? Man, my life changed in the span of two phone calls. You see, me and my wife, we were pastors in Southern California. We were coming up to Northern California because we felt an urge to really work with victims of human trafficking and the local church in Thailand. We found a school up here that would help us and teach us to do the things that we wanted to do, but everything sort of changed. I'm literally in a U-Haul, 30-foot U-Haul. My stuff's all packed up, my house is. I'm driving up the road and I get two notifications of two different voicemails. Voicemail one was the house we're literally about to rent. I'm driving my house to this rental house. The landlord leaves me a message. She says, hey, I want you guys to know that we actually found better candidates than you. We're not renting the house to you. I was like, what? I was blown away. I'm literally taking my house. Like I'm literally about to drive to this driveway to unload my house into this rental house, sign some paperwork and start living in Northern California. It was crazy. It's okay, it's okay, because I knew that we were going to still be fine. We were going to make it, because the way that we were going to live in Northern California was in Southern California, we had a house that we were selling. We were going to close escrow in just a couple of days. And so I knew, okay, we're going to make it. It's going to be fine. Until I listened to voicemail two. Voicemail two was my real estate agent. He told me, hey, Josh, you're... The buyers that were buying your house, their funding completely fell through. They have to start the whole process over again. And I don't even know if they're going to be able to buy your house anymore. We literally went from a family with a plan to kind of homeless in the span of five minutes. I couldn't believe it. My wife is just obliviously just driving. We have this big 15 passenger van. We have a lot of kids. We have this and Rob's just obliviously just driving up the road, you know, just enjoying herself. And I'm in the front truck just so stressed out so fast forward in three weeks we moved from from hotel to airbnb to airbnb to hotel uh, we moved six different places in three weeks with six kids mind you and life was crazy we actually found a romanian family that that felt bad enough to let us live with them and so in their three bedroom two bath duplex 1000 square foot duplex no backyard they let us stay in there with them and we got to stay there for a little while Fast forward three months later, our house finally closes. Uh, an apartment. Um, so God just totally came through with that and did, did some cool stuff there. And then, um, and the other good news is our house closed on Monday. So we finally got it good to go. We got 80, it was 87, um, 87 days in escrow. Yeah. Uh, and that was real fun. But yeah, and so, so we've been doing stuff. And we finally get the amount of money that we were expecting, except for now we have debt to pay off and things like that. We have to get going. We start, we continue going to school and man, I cannot find a job at all. I'm looking and looking and looking, can't find work anywhere. Anyways, towards the end of school, I'm watching our savings account. As we're going through school, I'm watching our savings account dwindle, 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 dwindle. And I'm realizing something has to change. So school's over, finally graduate, and I'm realizing it's time to chase this dream that I've had forever. You see, I love the internet. I love websites. I love technology. It's just always been a passion of mine. And I per previously worked with people. And now I was like, it's time for me to chase my dream of, le of working in technology. So I wanted to go to a coding boot camp. I knew I needed three things. I needed a coding boot camp that had a great reputation. The reviews were on point. I knew I needed a coding boot camp that would take me from zero to hero, that would take me from not knowing anything to actually landing a job. And then I knew I needed a coding boot camp that was cheap in price, but not cheap in value. Does that make sense? And so I looked and looked and looked. And finally, I decided to go with Coding Dojo. It met all my criteria. And so I signed up for this coding boot camp. Now, literally, because our bank account is going lower and lower, lower my wife gets a part time job. She gets we're, we're both trying to find work anywhere. My wife gets a part time job as a cleaner. She's cleaning houses. And as she's doing that, I'm watching the kids. I'm literally swapping off watching the kids with her to do coding boot camp. I'm in my kitchen, you know, just typing away, like, put that down, you know, and uh, I'm like, you know, put pants on, you know, whatever I have to do just to help my kids make it through the day so I can code, do stuff, and, and, and really make my way through this coding boot camp. Now, 
In the middle of coding bootcamp, I'm actually about to do this big milestone test. In Coding Dojo, they actually teach you two full stacks. So I was learning Python, and then I was gonna learn JavaScript. And so I'm, I, I'm finishing learning Python, and I'm about to do my major test to do this. As I'm doing that, something else happens. Redding catches on fire. Now, we are so broke. I have no idea what we're going to do. Redding catches on fire. It's literally the sixth largest fire in the history that ever recorded in California happens in our city. One night, the flames start getting closer and closer to our house and the wind starts blowing it towards where we live. And just out of fear, we were just like, hey, let's get out of here. I remember taking my desktop computer and my monitor, like taking it to my wife's aunt's house. I, I, I plop it down on her kitchen table and I'm just coding. Like nothing is going to stop me because I knew that I needed a job. I needed this to work for me. Um, luckily, Coding Dojo actually gave me an extension. So that was good. I got through that. But we come back home and I'm realizing I'm going to need a job even. I, I need a job even more so than I than I know. By this time we had been on food stamps for a couple of months and and we are literally at the lowest point financially i'm seeing i'm i'm doing the math and i'm realizing if i don't get a job right after coding boot camp i don't know what i'm gonna do so i start the resume train i start putting in job applications i start trying to hustle and really put in a ton of applications i felt like i put in hundreds i'm pretty comfortable saying i put in at least 50 60 applications uh doing that during that time customize my resume all that stuff just to try to get my first gig i just needed a shot i just needed someone to say yes to me well i heard a lot of nothing i honestly just got ghosted over and over and over again no one would reach out back to me and the ones that did were all no's and I was like, oh man, will I ever get a job? One time I actually felt super pumped on this one job. It was a Python role and I made it all the way to the technical interview and the guys really liked me. But at the time I had just finished learning Python and I was learning JavaScript, the second full stack of my coding bootcamp. And so I was doing that. When I got to the technical interview, they asked me to loop something through something in Python and I wrote the loop in JavaScript and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. I was reading the JavaScript loop. And I was like, it looks right. This is right. Why isn't it working? Oh man, what a fail. So anyway, needless to say that didn't work out for me. I'm going through continuing to learn coding bootcamp, you know, switching off with my wife, watching kids, and then I'm applying to more jobs, losing sleep, like whatever it takes, I'm going to get a job. And uh, I actually find my first job through kind of a weird way. It was through Craigslist. Did you even know Craigslist had a software, a place for software developers to find jobs? Most people don't. I wrote this email that was kind of like, hey, look, I'm not trying to waste anyone's time. I'm probably not what you're looking for because they were looking for a junior Salesforce developer. I'm probably not what you're looking for, but if you are willing to work with someone, I'm willing to learn. So I sent that email off, a couple of days, nothing. But then I get an email back and it says, hey, you're not what we're looking for. Oh another stab in the chest oh no like another rejection it was tough but as i kept reading they said but we are looking for someone to help us build some websites some general projects are you interested in some contract work so sure enough i signed up i built them for their first website and their second website i mean i was in the office all the time baby like i had donuts i had coffee whatever it took to make these guys like me i was like i want you to know i'm gonna be an awesome fit for this company while i was there um, so I end up almost graduating coding bootcamp and I'm telling them, Hey, I'm graduating in the next couple of weeks. If you want to continue to work with me, then, you know, you should, I want you to know that I want to work with you, but I'm going to start applying to other jobs. They ended up offering me my first full time junior developer job before I even graduated coding bootcamp. I do that job. I work hard. And, and in that time I'm dealing with imposter syndrome. It's scary. I don't know if I'm worth the money that they're paying me, which by the way, I was making 55 K a year at my first time, full-time role as a junior developer. It felt so good. Now that wasn't quite what I wanted to make, but it felt so good to sign that paper. Yes. I literally made it. I got my first role as a software developer. Then I work hard for about one and a half years. I'm I'm learning, I'm building my skill set, and I'm realizing, um, meanwhile, I had been working on my LinkedIn profile, doing all this kind of stuff. I get a certification as a Salesforce developer, and I actually get reached out to by a recruiter on LinkedIn. This recruiter then starts telling me about, and she has the perfect role for me, and that's the role that I'm in today. Here's the, here's the story. I went from food stamps 
to six figures in one and a half years. And I'm nothing special. I, if I can do this, you can do this too. That's why this channel exists. That's why I'm here and I'm trying to give, provide the most value for you guys. It's because I've seen technology change my life and I know it can do the same for you and your family. Listen, I have always felt like I didn't quite fit in the technology world. I felt like I wasn't set out to be a coder. Like I couldn't be a coder even if I tried. I always felt like a misfit. But now being in the industry, I know there's space for misfits just like us. Thanks for checking this out and welcome to Techology.